and howdy folks. Um, welcome to Me Made May, day 27. Just quickly this morning while this burning piece of light sits on me. See, I'm not a vampire, I didn't die. <laughs> um, yeah, I've got to rush off this morning and probably be out for most of the day. So I thought I'd just quickly do my outfit now. Um, nothing you haven't seen before. So this is the Henri bodysuit. Um, from the collection. Um, yes, if you wanted to buy any of the Kiss Me Some bodysuits that are made to order, lead time at the moment is about a week. Um, yeah, if that interests you, probably not, because most people are here for the sewing. So, and the skirt is a Vogue pattern. Do, 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 do. I've talked about it in an earlier video. I'll link the earlier video below. Um, I don't think I mentioned, though, at the time, uh, my favourite bit about this skirt, which I did do some mods to, um, and you can see the inside, but I just like that it's, um, oh gosh, that light, whoa, it's bright this morning. Um, red binding on the inside. I kind of wish I'd done like a really thick grow grain in red. I think that would have been really cool, but I just wasn't sure about the skirt, so I didn't want to, like that. Uh, Grogram or, or Petersham, the Rayon Petersham that I have, I keep calling it Grogram. It depends who you talk to as to what they call it. Um, I think that would have been really nice, but it would have been expensive for the amount that was needed. So I kind of put it off because I didn't know if I, would, how much I, where I was going to get out of this skirt. Considering it's really quite a worky sort of a thing, I think. But I'm going off to town. I'm going to go and get my flu shot. Um, and then I've got some things that I need to pick up and I'm going to go and get my hair done. Yay! Because here in WA, um, lockdown is very, very much relaxed now. Um, in fact, a lot of Australia, very relaxed. Uh, we just don't have a, a lot of cases and, you know, let's get the economy rolling and all that kind of stuff. I'm going to go out and buy some bits and pieces, actually the only things that I need. Um, I need a new charging cable for my phone. And I need a new drawing pad because I've, I'm working on a new collection for Goblin Fruit. Goblin Fruit. And, um, yeah, I need to sketch out some ideas that I've been having. I also need to sketch out some new wardrobe ideas, I think. I'm coming up with a new wardrobe plan. You know, I read all these books. Well, I had, it, like, a look at, like, people's different theories on, like, capsule wardrobes and wardrobe planning and things like that. And I've decided I need a slightly more personalised approach. Um, probably like along the sort of same ways as when you do a, um, like a fashion collection and you have to, like, you see, you need to do your research for that, you know, if you're doing a swimwear collection, how many, you know, high cut leotards do I need? How many one piece leotards do I need? How many two piece leotards do I need? Do I need to be using underwire? Blah, blah, blah. And you research your demographic and what they might want. Um. And so you could do the, do the same for your wardrobe. So I've got nearly a whole month now of outfits that I wore, me made. But I need to, I think, do a little bit more research into what I'm going to be wearing next month um, when I can wear my whole wardrobe, which is probably 100% bigger than... <laughs> it's a lot more than that. Uh, it, it's, yeah, maybe 10 times bigger than the wardrobe I've been wearing over the last month. Um, mostly thrifted um, clothes and mostly clothes that I've had for a very long time. Um, but I think I need to... My, my lockdown life has made me decide that I don't like boring clothes. I'm over it. I don't care what anybody thinks, I don't like boring clothes. Um, and here in WA, we dress quite boring. So I'm gonna... I'm over it. It's done. Um, time for some more drama. So I'm gonna be thinking about that all day today, and maybe I'll come back this afternoon. I have worked out how to tack two videos together. I know, right? It's it's advanced video editing going on here. Anyway, um, my name's Simone. Um, this is my Me Made May challenge for 2020. I uh, hope you're having a really nice day. If I don't see you later, ciao. Alrighty, folks. Okay, from the end of the day now, because I've learned how to put two videos together, um, I just thought um, I'd come back on. I'm a little bit excited, so I've been um, out in, in, in town all day, had my flu shot this morning, and so now I have a dead arm. Uh, <laughs> I've just realised that the bit of cotton wool is still in there as well. 
Yeah, I'm not going to take that out in front of you in case there's stuff, something on it. Um, I've also taken the collar off my bodysuit when I got my hair done because I didn't want to get hair dye on it. Um, so this is what the Henry Lee bodysuit looks like without the collar. Ta-da! Um, otherwise all the same. I've reapplied my lipstick. It's a different colour now because before I had a red on underneath and I didn't bring the red with me. Um, very exciting, right? Um, no, the very exciting news, oh, while I was out, a delivery came from Spotlight, which is this fleece-backed Ponty. I think it's Ponty. Anyway, I was looking for something to try and keep myself warm as it gets colder, because um, I really don't have enough really, really warm clothes. Because last winter I was working in an office with the world's most incredible heating, um, I, it was hotter than, than the Seven Shades of Hell. Um, but now I'm, I'm not going to keep my home this warm. <laughs> so I, I would rather have warm clothes. It's more environmentally friendly. Or something. Um, no, the thing I'm excited about is because I finally found somewhere in Perth that stocks Berta magazine. Ta-da! Now I know this is really old for anybody overseas because I've actually already seen, like months ago, Lisa from And So On make a top from this magazine. So it's been around for a while. Um, and you know, it's not a winter issue, clearly. But where's the top? Where's the top she made? I know it was at the front. I mean, look at this dress. I reckon I can hack that just to be a top. I don't need a full length dress, but a little lace top next summer would be really cute. Um, doo -doo. Oh, I really thought it was right at the front, or maybe I've just gone straight over the top of it. But it's got it's like a um long sleeve top. Let me stand back so you, you're not talking to my chin. Um, with a twist at the back, there it is. Um, that's right, that's the one she made, isn't it? If anybody's well, Lisa, if you're watching, I thought that was really cute. I thought she, she did a really nice version of it. Um, and there are some other things in here. There's a pair of pants in here that I really like. It's got some details that I'll probably not do, but where are they? There was also a pair of joggers. I was like, oh, I love those. And of course, they're not actually one of the patterns. Yeah, as you do. Yeah, see, these are the joggers. I was like, yeah, they look cute. I could do that. No, it's the pattern's actually for the jacket. Probably should pay more attention. I was just so excited that they had it because I haven't been able to find anywhere. I know, oh, these are the, the pants slash jeans. I think they look really nice. Just wide leg, high-waisted. Probably won't do the, which is the top one, yeah, the weird kind of waist detail. I'm like, I hope these are pockets. I kind of... If they're pockets that just go down into it, then I might not do the flap, but just have little open welt pockets that go down instead of in. I think that might be cute. Do, do, do. Sorry, my dog's wandering around bouncing her ball because it's about... Um, is that it? Oh, yes. Earlier this morning, I was talking about wardrobe planning. Um... And I have realised going through town with all the shops open and all the things that I could possibly buy, um, that I was looking at clothes that I already have in my wardrobe, but I actually haven't been able to wear for the last month. So if I'm planning and doing my research as to what I wear, then I will need to do that next month, um, where I can wear my whole wardrobe. But I think my one of my main issues with um, other sort of wardrobe planning guides is this idea of um, uh, don't dress for your fantasy life or don't buy clothes for your fantasy life, buy clothes that you'll actually wear. And, um, you know, the um, they said, uh, it was the, the meme, they said dress for, dress for the job that you wanted, not the job that you have. And it's a woman dressed up as um, Batwoman. I love that. I like my fantasy life. Um, I actually think I would like to have some more crazier, um, not crazier, just more flamboyant options in my wardrobe that are also very, very wearable and comfortable. That's what we're going to be working towards. Um, so yes, I want fantasy life outfits that are comfortable. Um, so 
So yeah, that's this is a very half formed idea. You can witness it as we go along if you like. If you want to see my outfits that won't include me maids next month, tell me. Um, I won't be doing a video every day next month. It's it's a lot. Um, and I'm yeah, sorry about yesterday's video. That took like so long to upload. It's the longest one that I've done. I haven't actually rewatched it, so if I'm dribbling on really badly, my heartiest apologies. I think maybe in future, if you're interested, let me know. I'll do a um, um, a more concise, dot pointed version, maybe over three videos about sewing with knits, if you like. Anyway, let me know. Um, hope you're having a lovely day and talk later. Bye.